the Palladium is bathed in blue and red for the 2017 Keith Blue Trust God Best and Fairest Count Night. We can't wait to see who's going to be crowned the best player for season 2017. It all ends tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I can't wait to see who's going to take it home. Let's get around now and check out what they think and get involved with some of the fun and excitement of the Keith Blue Trust God Melbourne Football Club Best and Fairest Count. Everybody's favourite old man, Jack Trengove. How are you, mate? Yeah, going very well, all yourself? Yeah, not too bad. This is what, number uh, 10 for you. How many have you been no, to? No, only eight. 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 Number That's eight. Still but pretty good. Yeah, look, you can't <laughs> complain, can you? Who do you reckon tonight, mate? We've got a few contenders, I would have thought. Yeah, I'm going to have to back in my house, mate, Clary. Yep. I think uh, he starts off the season really well and finishes it well as well. So uh, it would be tough to beat, I reckon. Mate, you won it last year. Big night, um, must have been great memories for you. Give a chance to do it again? Uh, I wouldn't have thought so. Um, had, a, had a couple of good games during the year, but I think tonight's all about consistency throughout the year. Yeah. Um, and, and for that, I think Clayton Oliver was our most consistent player, and I'll be backing him to take it out. You've been up there before, mate, previous winner. What's that feeling like as you climb the steps to hold up that cup? Oh, yeah, mate, it's good. I guess the years I won it, we weren't um, great as a team, so. I probably don't reflect on it too fondly at the moment, but I'm sure I will when my career ends. I think tonight we'll see uh, Clayton Oliver take it out if, if uh, you want my opinion on it. But um, yeah, I think we're improving as a club and it's, uh, it's been a pretty good season. Obviously, there's a bit of taste in how it all finished, but um, in saying that, you know, as you said, hopefully this puts a full stop on the year and we can start again. One of the defender contenders, uh, Jets, mate, you had a great year. There's a couple of blokes. Red Hot Chances and you're right up there, how do you feel about that? Uh, I think it's just great to come to one of these things and, and uh, yeah, enjoy it and um, obviously had a good year and I can yeah, I can maybe get up there at some point. Well the other one is Hibbo, he's a backman but usually is a midfielder sort of thing isn't it, winning awards. That's why it makes it special when a forward he's or a, a back backman, he doesn't defend When a forward or a backman <laughs> wins the Keith Bluey, it's hard to do. It is very hard to do mate. So. Um, I don't think anyone can overthrow Clayton, but no. Hibbo's definitely had a good year and uh, there's a few other boys that'll be up there as well. Hibbo, they reckon you and Clary, it's just it's between the two, it's a two horse race. Uh, I, I think differently, I think Clary will win by the length of the Flemington, but um, I reckon Vines and Chunk will go pretty well, so I know they missed a bit of footy, but the, the rest of their year is pretty uh, pretty solid, so that'll be, that's my top three anyway. Clary, uh, everyone reckons you're going to win it, how do you feel about that? I uh, think that's uh, not true. I think uh, Vaughn's got in the bag, or Hibbo, or Jets, as uh, a lot of yeah. contenders. Well, Jets is another one we haven't spoken about, but everyone said you. It must be hard to take. I mean, everyone likes to say, nah, not me, but you're a young man and you're a chance to win one of the uh, the best awards the Melbourne Football Club's got to offer. You, you, you're, you've got your step in speech ready, surely. Nah, nah, definitely not, mate. <laughs> no, I can't, get, any, I can't no get anything out of these guys. House, mate, what's he like around the home? Well, I sort of. I think I've got to take credit for the real turnaround he had this year. He was playing the VFL last year, suddenly he moves into Shelley Street and he's uh, gone to the next level. So, But no, he's good. He's just, but he's 19 years old, so a lot to learn early days. But um, no, he's, uh, he's a great housemate. You couldn't ask for anything more. I've stolen the beautiful Jerry Jones. How lucky am I, Jerry? How are you going? I'm well, thanks. How are you? You're away from the kiddies tonight. We have you are. planned it? Have you, are you able to stay here or go out until four in the morning? We actually are staying tonight, really? which is good. But I got my outfit on Saturday Jerry. with two kids. <laughs> uh, so I'm very, very disorganised, but happy to be here. You take leave as nominated Melbourne as the club he wants to come to. He'd be a back line next yep. year. Pretty excited about that prospect? Yeah, it's um, obviously, <laughs> obviously uh, having someone of his calibre and um, now grand final experience and playing a team that he's played in for the last few years um, would definitely yeah, be very exciting for us and um, to have him down back next to me and, and Hibbo and Frosty and Oscar and uh, Tommy if he does come back and these sorts of blokes, it's, um, yeah, I can't wait to stick to the season to start, pre-season to start and get back out and improve and, and yeah, really get back out and show what we, what we really can do. They're all looking forward to pre-season starting until that first run <laughs> and then they're not happy at all, yeah? Nah, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Now, it is the season to be jolly for a footballer. Who's, who's one of the boys that really gets involved in uh, what they call a froth <laughs> these days? Uh, well, I, was a, uh, I was at the Brownlow medal with uh, Michael Hibbard. Yeah, really? And uh, he, you know, if he's in the same form he was on that night, uh, it'll be good scenes. He just seems so calm usually. He doesn't look like he'd do that. 
I don't know, you see him at the end of the brown line when he's put his hands up there. Three yeah. votes, yeah! <laughs> is, it, is it a good night for the girls? Is it, is it, it gets is. get boring after a while? Uh, I think this is more fun than the brown low, actually. Oh, really? Because we have a lot more people to talk to. Um, but I'm looking forward to having a few drinks with the girls, so it'll I'm be good. I'm getting the wind up from Nath, he reckons right. I might be you know, working an angle. <laughs> We're all done. <laughs> Go, Jerry, have a great night. Good to see you. Bye. Bye, darling. And get a kiss, thank you very much. Well done. Congratulations on your year. I know you want to do it again next year and get to finals, but I will give you a word of advice. You need to have some sort of acceptance speech ready to go, so you've got 30 seconds now. Quickly go and write it. Nah, no chance. <laughs> Good on you, mate. Thanks, brother.